Hi everyone, we're the Captain at TV and this is the Captain Calls, your weekly news update. First up, investments globally. AI chip maker Rebellions gets $22.8 million Series A extension from Korean telco company KT. South Korean AI chip developer Rebellions has raised $22.8 million, which is an extension of a Series A financing from strategic investor KT, one of the largest telecom companies in South Korea. Maolak pours new funding into superfoods, mimicking breast milk health benefits. The milk protein mixture looks like a white powder that is digested in human body similarly to breast milk and is suitable to add to active foods, even cooked foods like pasta, without losing functionality. Helping to accelerate the product is a new $3.2 million seed funding round that has closed in January. Our crowd led the investment and was joined by Strauss Group's Kitchen Food Tech Hub, the Food Tech Lab, Venture Israel, Naomi Investments, and Mediterranean Towers Ventures. Onomondo secures cash to expand its wireless networks for IoT devices. Onomondo, a startup offering a dedicated wireless network for Internet of Things devices, announced that it has raised $21 million in a funding round led by Bordeen with participation from Mears Growth, People's Venture, and the Danish Growth Fund. Peanut gets seed backing to grow sustainable forestry carbon credits. YC back climate tech startup Pain Earth has closed $2.5 million seed round of funding a year after being founded and a few months since it presented at Accelerator Winter's 2022 Demo Day in March. The seed is led by Franco-German VC Exange, with participation from London-based VC The North Star, as well as a number of business angels and serial founders. UK's Oxford Quantum Circuit snaps up $47 million Series A for Quas. UK-based Oxford Quantum Circuits is announcing a £32 million, which is approximately $47 million, in funding to fuel growth of its own contribution to space. A patented 3D processor architecture it calls Coxmon plus Quantum Computing as Service that will run on it. QQC says that the Series A is the largest to date UK-based quantum computing startup. Visby Medical tests positive for a Series E extension at a 1 billion plus valuation. Medical diagnostic company Visby Medical raised $100 million in a Series E round earlier this year. The company has extended that round by an additional $35 million at the same valuation as the rest of the round. This financing will enable Visby Medical to scale production capacity to tens to hundreds of thousands of monthly tests. Focal Point focuses on modernizing procurement with $3 million investment. The startup announced a $3 million seed investment to help build a platform that would bring a level of automation to highly manual process of procurement. The seed came from a group of investors including Susa Ventures, Amplo, GoPoint Ventures, Bungalow Capital and Operator Partners. Marketing automation startup Retail Rocket naps $24 million for expansion. Retail Rocket, a retention management platform for brands, announced that it has raised $24 million in a Series A round led by Cypress-based private equity fund Flintera. In addition to the fundraising, Retail Rocket revealed that it has also acquired SalePlay, a startup developing software to help retailers build loyalty programs and send mass message campaigns. Moving on to mergers and acquisitions, Farmerware Focus Queenly makes first acquisition post rapid early 2022 growth. Queen Lee, a startup building a garment marketplace aimed at dressing for formal events, announced that it has purchased Mi Padrino, a company built to serve Quinciera market. Terms of the deal were not revealed. That's it from Capital Calls Global. Tune in next week for more such weekly updates.